my name's Sean, I'm over at Anthem Screen Printing, and today's part one of an ongoing series for how to use Photoshop for screen printing. So today we're just going to go over the fundamentals, we're going to go over uh, the scanning, levels, and thresholding. So let's not waste any time, you got your drawing, you got a scanner, let's get this started. Alright then, so we're scanning this in, in Photoshop we just went to File, Import, um, so this is going to come up. You have the option with a lot of printers to not have to pick everything, which is nice uh, for obvious reasons. All right, then. So go there. Make sure your resolution uh, is, I mean, 360 is nice. I like that number. It's circular. Um, 300 really is all you need, though, to be honest. So yeah, go ahead and name it. Um, Skeeter. And scan that in. Here we are image is here, everything's all set from the scanner. So if we get really close, you can see a lot of artifacts from the paper along here, some pen marks, and a lot of grays kind of in between. The blacks aren't very solid. So for screen printing especially, it can only be black and white. That's it. Or else, you know, it's not going to show up when you try to burn the image. So what you're going to go to is to Image, Adjustments, and levels. I know for a Mac that's Command L. If you're on a PC, I'm honestly not too sure what the uh, short codes are. But so how this works is you have sort of this graph, and what these parts control is this is the black, these are the grays, and these are the white. You really need to concern yourselves with the blacks and the white for a one color image like this. So our whites here are not white, they're gray right now. So if we push the whites up, you'll see them get, I mean, that's, you know, pretty much pure white. And then do the same thing with the blacks, push those up. And already it's starting to look way better. Um, if you get close though, you'll see that towards the edges of things, towards the pixels, there's still a lot of grays in there. Um, it's not quite exactly where we want it to be. So zoom out a little bit just to be able to see everything. And there is a function that Photoshop has that makes things only black or white. So we're going to go to that image adjustments again and down to threshold. So if you click that, you're going to get another graph. And this time it's a threshold level. So what this does is it turns things only black, only white. Uh, a lot of times initially you're going to be set. You can kind of adjust what it looks like on the graph. If you go, you know, way over, it's going to be more blacks, more whites the other direction. But it looks fine. Before you press OK, it might say, whoa, what's going on? It might seem a little bit scary, looks a little janky. When you press OK, it's going to render itself out. And that looks smooth. And if you zoom in again, you'll see there's no more grays, everything's filled in, and even the dots on there are all blacks. So for screen printing, this is going to be great. That's going to block the emulsion perfectly. And we're all set. And really, that's it. So there's a lot of other things. If you continue watching the series, which we're going to make more of, you'll see there's a whole other host of you know, things you can do. But add, for a basic one color, that's all you really need. So if we go here and go to print, we'll be all set. There you go. Uh, make sure you stay tuned. We're going to be going over a whole other course of things, halftones, color separations, live tracing, and a whole other universe of uh, possibilities for your images. Um, but at its core, this is what we're doing, is we're trying to make sure everything has just hit those really dark blacks and no grays so that it can actually burn onto the screen. And on top of that, for any sites or anything that you have, it really just gives your image an extra professional touch. So thanks for watching. I think the video around now is going to fade out. The logo is going to come up. Be well. We'll see you next time.